In the post-Cold War world, one of the most terrifying prospects for defense planners is the use of a radiological weapon by either a rogue state or terrorist group. Also known as a dirty bomb, a radiological weapon uses conventional explosives to spread radioactive material. The main impact of a, a dirty bomb or a radiological device would be sort of like anthrax. Wouldn't necessarily kill that many people, but would panic the country, would bring networks, perhaps the subway to a halt. It would terrorize people. Despite reports that terrorist group Al-Qaeda has tried to get materials to build it, former Homeland Chief Tom Ridge says there's no evidence. The easiest to get would probably be radiation sources, such as you'd find at a hospital or at a welding shop. Uh, those would only be able to contaminate a fairly small area. If you were trying to contaminate a much larger area, say something the size of Central Park, you'd probably have to steal a lot of spent fuel rods from a nuclear power plant. That would be much more difficult to do. Massive radioactivity exposure, like the one in Chernobyl in the 1980s, would kill thousands of people. But experts say such a large-scale attack is unlikely. If you're talking about a small one that could contaminate a subway station, scare away subway riders for a few weeks, I don't think we can exclude that possibility. The possibility of a dirty bomb has been quietly examined for years. This is something that's been studied for a while. Plans are in place. And if something like this happens, I think that the local uh, emergency responders are prepared to deal with it. There is some debate as to exactly how many casualties would result from the detonation of a dirty bomb. But even if the nuclear contamination were limited, the fear and hysteria that would be caused could be just as damaging.